What is going on YouTube? Um, something just happened to me and I figured that, that I would want to share it on YouTube. So um, this is what happened. I had bought a brand new Gen Ace battery. First time using it. I put it in this old XE truck that I had. It's a brushless truck. It, the, the ESC overheats a lot and I took it out yesterday with my son and first time using my new two cell Gen Ace battery, 5000 milliamp, 50C put it in there after a couple of minutes it kept on overheating I got annoyed so I put the truck to the side and I grabbed my son's rustler and drove it for the for a couple hours or whatever forgot that the battery was plugged in the ESC it happens sometimes I'm sure people out there forgot that they plugged their their battery into the ESC forgot to shut it off the next day they go back to the truck your battery is completely dead well this is what happened to me this morning. I went to grab the battery. It was completely dead. I, I put it to my voltage meter here. It wasn't even lighting up to see the voltage. I was annoyed. It's a 30 something dollar battery. Um, so there's a trick to bring your LiPo battery back to life. And I have done it before but I never did a video on it. I'm not recommending to do this because it could be dangerous. I've done it before and I never had a problem doing it. This is the battery right now. Look, it was at zero voltage, and look at it now. It's it's beautiful. It's at 7.5 volts at 4.3 amps. I'm doing it. Here's the voltage per cell, 3.7 as of right now. This thing had zero. I have brought it back to life. So if you guys are interested in how to bring a LiPo battery back to life that you have totally killed and you're really annoyed, what you do is... And I don't recommend this. This is all up to you. Um, if something happens, don't blame me. I'm just showing you what I did. And it worked a couple times for me. There was time, I think I did it once, and it didn't bring a battery back to life. Second Geo. So what you do is you go to manual, you go to, um, you go to nickel metal mode. I should stop. You go, go to nickel metal mode manual. You plug in your battery right here and you, I put it on 2 amps for a 5000 milliamp battery I put it on 2 amps on the nickel metal because if you do on the lipo battery alarm will go off saying there's low voltage it's not going to work so you got to fool the, the charger that it's a nickel metal battery so you go to nickel metal manual on this or any other charger and you plug it in and 2 amps and you go and it starts pumping voltage into the battery and boom, voila, it's putting voltage in. And then once it goes up to a certain amount of volts, like a two cell battery, once it hits like six volts, now it's like three volts per cell, I stop it and then I go on, then I plug it in for lipo balance. And that's it, man. And you brought your battery back to life again. And it Daddy. does work. Hold on, do you see me doing video, honey? Daddy, there's something wrong with the PlayStation. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Oh, I'll be there in a minute. I'm just doing a video real quick on my battery, okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, so that's it. That's how you bring a uh, LiPo battery back to life. I've done it before and I, and it worked uh, quite a few times. I've done it and even like I receive a battery pack for my RC cars and no problem. So that's it. That's how you bring a LiPo battery back. <laughs> It's so funny. That's how you bring a light bulb battery back to life, and that's really it. Uh, well, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build it up. I haven't had the time to really do that many videos. Um, I'm trying to get more RC cars. I have sold all my stuff, so I'm trying to get everything back again. So give me time, and I'll be getting some crazy gr uh, bashing videos like I usually do, and that's it, man. Thanks for watching and take care. Peace out.